And welcome, everybody here at Twitch Chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tempo Sejuani. We haven't really played this version of Misfortune Sejuani, this Tempo Sejuani deck, and it's a really popular one. So that's why we're going to play it today, just like the Endure Spiders is really popular right now, uh, playing this one also. For the most part, everybody plays like the same, uh, you know, 38 for the most part. There's, there's kind of like two or three flex slots um like the citrus courier the the razor scale hunter like some people play a third riptide rex and something else um i i like these two cards i like citrus courier i think it can it can uh you know pull us out ahead and everything like that but razor scale hunter is just a really underrated card i really like this card it's a scout also which is perfect for misfortune this is an underrated card i i kind of want to go two of these and no couriers honestly but I'll, I'm going to go one and one with the Hunter and the Courier. Uh, let's see. Um, you know, other people play... Uh, um, Jaw Hunters is underrated too, by the way. Other people play Petty Officer. I'm not that big of a fan of Petty Officer. One card that, that I have seen in this deck before. And something I'm just interested in. And something I need to play more of, to be honest. Is... Do I have it? This card right here. There we go. Mystifying Magician. I need to just play more of this card in general. I've seen people play this in this in this deck, and it looks pretty sweet. Transform an ally into a random five-cost follower. This seems like a pretty awesome card. You know, you just turn your Omen Hawk into a five-drop. That's super powerful. You know, your uh, your Island Navigator that makes a crappy one one mana thing. You can turn it into a five mana thing. I don't know. I I like this card. I think that's an underrated card too. So I need to play some more of like the the weird bilge water cards. We need more weird cards because they they could be pretty good. But anyway, let's play Tempo Sejuani. Let's get some wins. We are in triple digits. It looks like so back in the triple digits, and we're gonna go rank up some more, hopefully with Misfortune and Sejuani. Oh, we're actually 904 because it's. Ranking's kind of bugged right now. It's a little delayed since patch 1-3. That was basically the only thing patch 1-3 did was just uh, bug the ranking system. So we're obviously keeping both Omen Hawks and Misfortune. Like, those three are definite keeps. It's just the warning shot. Do I keep warning shot? I don't think so. Not with... Not without anything really to use it for right now. Hawk. So we're facing light and ice, flux and ash. No. Nothing escapes my watch. Ugh. Absolute worst card to Omen Hawk. Your eight drop. Riptide Rex could be a four two. It doesn't. Like, it doesn't matter what Riptide Rex is. Fortune favors the bold. Yolgrifter. That's a good one. But this is a card. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's a seven four or an eight five. It's the exact same card. Nothing to worry about. If you have nothing to hide. Look out for reavers. Love ya. Love the villain. A little surprised they so eagerly blocked with the two one. A little surprised. Oh no, we missed. We've already we've already drawn four Freljord cards. Um, there's nine in the deck. We've already drawn four. Don't get ahead of yourself. Yep. Well, win as bad as it could. I sharp is my spear. Guess that was just a bad block. Want to get Ash out of there? 
So I guess Radiant Guardian. Yep. Just think what's the absolute best thing my opponent could play, and they're going to do that. But we'll still be fine. We're still fine. And I haven't been using the Warning Shot to try to level up Sejuani, because I'm keeping the Warning Shot to go along with Riptide Rex. Keeping that pairing together. So I'm gonna let them attack with Ash if they want to. Stand and fight. Man, harsh winds could really hurt us. I do have double Fury of the North, but we're kind of required to play the Fury of the North beforehand. These things having tough is rough. Definitely looks like somebody who has unyielding spirit. Join the drown. And he needs you to pay up. Coming. The time is right. Strike now. It's not good. Okay, so one harsh wind's gone. This would be so much easier if I know if I knew they didn't have any kind of harsh winds or anything. We stole two cards. Oh, oh, you're talking about, sorry, you're talking about a different scenario. You're talking, sorry. You're always talking about something else. Yeah, it would be a lot easier if we could see their hands. Game 
Magic has no place here. There'll be blood in the water. <sighs> All right, well, we'll kill both of those things. But that thing being an 8-5 or a 7-4 did not matter. It's going to be harder to kill them with Triple Fury of the North when they have Detain. That's certainly true. Swiftly now. Look out there. Pretty sure they're going to win this. Is going to be too difficult. Virtue guides me. Justice will be served. It was right on my tail. Those unyielding spirit attacks are really good. That's definitely what I've been having a ton of success with. Also, just different unyielding Lux decks. And yeah, I played an Ash Lux deck like that like a week ago. Really liked it. Difficult card to beat. I'm looking at everything but the one drop. They had a couple of turns in there having the, the Brittle Steel whenever I tried to block and kill the Ash. The Brittle Steel was clutch. Nothing and then like also the... Uh, like that was clutch and then Radiant Guardian the next turn. Like those, those two things were super clutch. But that, that Brittle Steel really won them that game to be honest. Get bloody, get paid. Vyheimer doesn't have a lot of things to play on turn two. That's fine. Let's get to it. My hand's horrible. Really horrible. Alone, we see things as they truly are. Should get twin disciplined. No. 
know. They just probably have another solitary monk then. No. Sweet. Well, that's good. Dang, that's good too. No turn five champion. Kind of making up for our terrible hands. I'm surprising they're blocking, to be honest. Penguin! Brand new tier one sub. Thank you, Penguin. That is great. Thanks, thanks for the support there, Penguin. I appreciate that. Cool, took a flash of brilliance. have a pretty neat turn next turn. Citrus Courier. Oh no 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 we can't we can't go flash of brilliance and citrus courier no more. Donation deck from Wakanda. Yeah, absolutely still doing donation decks, of course. Got a meme infinite shrooms deck. Okay. All right, I will have that for meme tier Monday. Meme infinite shrooms from Wakanda. Thank you, Wakanda. Oh, good job, Penguin. You got some masters? Good job. So if you make good decks, they help me get some masters. Well, I'm glad I could help. All right, so, get, so they're making a 4-1. The 4-1 doesn't get to block right now. All right, so Wakanda has... Meme empty mushroom. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. Spring, spring. Well, this kind of looks like where Heimerdinger takes over. Round and round and round it goes. You own what you take. GG's Heimerdinger. Looks like we're 0-2. GG's. That's not gonna help. We pick a worse card to make than Mind Meld.
This is a really poor hand for us, though, if you remember. Like, we we just didn't do anything. Like, we had a one drop, a two drop, but, like, turn three, four, five. All, all three of those turns were just so bad for us. And that's that's exactly what you want with the Heimerdinger deck, is them just not doing anything on turn th three, four, or five. We really didn't have anything to do. Hand that was just make it rain, miss four. Uh, you know, it was just like make it rain, make it rain, Fury of the North, Sejuani, Citrus Courier. <laughs> yeah, it's just so ugly. impressed with this deck yet. Don't really have, like, the interaction, you know? Like, our opponent goes Unyielding Spirit. Or Heimerdinger. And kind of lose. So this hand, I am really hoping my opponent does not have a one mana card. Which Swain Sejuani, I don't think they really have too many one mana cards. Because my plan is play Omen Hawk on turn one. At turn two, we get the attack token. Attack with Omen Hawk. Deal one point of damage. Oh no, they had a one. They had a one mana card. I would have dealt one point of damage and then get the double Jagged Butcher going. That's worse for me. Hey, Harvey. So now, I'm not going to just play 2-2 two -two Jagged Butchers. I'm going to wait till next turn. And go Mega Rain. And then Merchant Butcher. Leave nothing standing! It's pretty ugly, though. Pretty ugly. So basically, this Make It Rain is just a warning shot. If you think about it, like, that was just warning shot. Wanted to try to take things they omen hawked, and we've done a good job of that. That's pretty powerful. For the glory of Noxus. I mean, nothing wrong with three five island navigator. You poor thing. <laughs> Alright. We get zero mana Crimson Disciple. One mana Jacket Butcher. That trade. There's plenty of killing there. Cool. I was hoping so. Let me show you what I can do. And 
And then we're going to be aggressive. Get a bunch of attacks in. They block level 3 three. Take nine. Okay, taking 10. I did want to play Yordle Grifter first, while, even though I had the two Black Market Merchants because of Sejuani. No. We've been missing all the time with these Yordle Grifters. So I'm going to be replacing Setuani's four out of five. I'm going to be I'm going to be putting the ta tavern keeper over the O2. I just don't know what I want to heal. Like, do I want to just get the Crimson Disciple back to being a two three, or do I just go three to my Nexus? Yeah, I'll go Nexus. Ride onward. Maybe I should have played the Omenhawk first, and then just played over the Omenhawk with the Tavern Keeper. Looks like it didn't matter, we drew Make It Rain, so we got rewarded. It worked out. Good at hand, it's triple black market merchant, you know, double jagged butcher, and open hawk. You know, like we had a lot of one and two mana cards, which is awesome, especially when they're as good as black market merchant. Man, stealing stuff and making it cost less. The fact that, that card makes those cards cost less is pretty busted. Um, Alan C, yeah, if you, if you want to make it a donation deck, I can. Um, I am doing, I'm going to be doing a Poro deck on Monday. I got, I do have a, a Poro, Poro deck donation deck, um, in the queue right now from the same wall. We're going to be playing that on Monday. It's like we had, we had three Five Island Navigators, just never got around to playing it. All right, so I, I like Omenhawk Hired Gun, and I, I like both of these four mana cards, but I kind of want to replace them and just look for more ones and twos. This is just a matchup that we have to get ahead in. I like every matchup. No! So it would great if they didn't have the one drop, and I could have gone Merchant on two. So it looks like we're going Hired Gun. Yes, I will, Wakanda. Yes, I will. Yeah, so donation decks, that's how I play. That's what I do for viewer submitted decks. You can either use um, 10,000 channel points if you have, you know, if you uh, watch for a while um, here on stream, or $10. Uh, either $10 donation or the 10,000 channel points. And, Let's play Miss Fortune. No pay, no pay. Not bad. Both of our champions getting upgraded with Miss Fortune. Not bad. That 
that works. Okay, cool, Wakanda. And I I could also play it, um, I can also just play it in normal too. I don't have to play it in ranked. If you think it would be better just to, to play that deck in normal, I will, uh, you know, do that just fine. I like having this Blighted Caretaker. That could be pretty good. But our next attack turn will be on turn 6, where turn 6 we'll be able to play Sejuani. So we're probably going to just be doing that. <sighs> yes, we're playing a Poro deck right now. Citrus Courier. So I think my plan, like the Citrus Courier is pretty interesting. I think my plan is like attack. And then this is attack number two and then attack again. That's attack number three and then play Citrus Courier and then attack again, and that's attack number four with Misfortune. It's gotta be difficult to survive that many attacks. Like, you know, the... the leveled up Misfortune trigger. Alright, so Bark Beast is a 3-3. Mm -hmm. Fastest he got it to work was turn a seven with 300 mushrooms. Dang, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, that's gonna, that's, speaking of doing some work, that's gonna do some work. That is gonna do some work. I wonder if I could... No, I, I shouldn't attack with Misfortune. I mean, they'd ha they'd have to trade with Callista. I shouldn't even let them... I shouldn't offer that. Ready the torches. Look out for Reavers. Yeah, I, just, I shouldn't offer that. Like my Poro's not even gonna die. We're just gonna have to play over the Poro. Love ya. Sorry, Poro. So plucky. Well, that's unfortunate. That's a good card for them. Uh, all right, so time for violence. No regrets, no mercy. Maybe bad attacking with Misfortune again. You know, again, they get to trade with Callista, but it would take out their Callista and it would do a bunch of damage to them because the Callista would be a 5 1. This has Overwhelm, so it would do an additional 4 damage to them. Okay. So 
glad I attacked. Now if they have They Who Endure, we'll play Sejuani uh, to Frostbite it. Everyone's a garden. Bigger than Avaros and Sentry? No. Avaros and Sentry is like the best card to bring back anyway. with that instead of block with oh right fearsome that's why Omen Hawk. I want Fury of the North to be able to protect Misfortune. So plan, attack with Island Navigator, uh, challenge the Callista, then Island Navigator dies, we play Sejuani, So they're still going to get a good, like, these things are all going to die anyway, I guess, with the Neverglade Collector. Ride onward. So, like, I probably should go, let's see, yeah. I'd be like this. Stand and fight. Don't stand in my way. Those things, most damage they can do is, yeah, blocking those. Alright, GG's. So many cannons! I don't think I've ever attacked with Misfortune so much. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done two leveled up Misfortune attacks before. Usually, if you get one... They're probably dead. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. So many, so many little bullets there. All right, back to even, back to two and two. And deck's looking better. Just had a couple of super powerful cards that win games uh, 
with our first two opponents, the Unyielding Spirit and then the Heimerdinger. A couple of super powerful cards. This will be an interesting deck. Callista Maokai Hecarim. Kind of looks like an, an ephemeral deck, right? Like they're that's what they're focused on. Um, I think I'm gonna keep Warning Shot. Make sure that's turned on. Yeah, I don't want these cards. I I haven't liked this Fury of the North, to be honest. I think it's a card that we have too many of. I think there could be, like, one Fury of the North. I think three is too many in this deck. It's a card that has just been stuck in my hand all the time, and I don't like it. Ideal scenario is draw another black market merchant or pilfer goods right here. Merchant or pilfer goods? All right, not quite, not quite. Think I got something. That's a good one. There's plenty of killing. Yeah, that was a good one, because they're gonna uh they're gonna do their whatever thing. I mean, maybe I just shouldn't have played the the butcher. I was thinking that I was thinking that they're gonna still do the merchant, but I guess the butcher is a 4-4, four four, so maybe they do the butcher. As a 4 4 instead of a 2 2. Yeah, I did. No, not Riptide Rex. Alright, cool. We'll keep Black Market Merchant. That'll help my Yordle Grifter. Actually hit. Huh, I wonder if this is good to play on the Rex. Well, it was fresh. Have turn seven Riptide Rex? That sounds pretty good. So did not want to give them free ephemeral. Maybe I should have. <laughs> well, it was fresh. Every weed is a path. Dang, we got some top end. I'd rather have the 1-1 one, one scout last breath thing than the 2-1. The we may have another death mark, which would not be great for me. Alright, gives me room to play Riptide Rex. Good chance they're not expecting a turn 7 Riptide Rex. Especially a turn 7, 8 5 Riptide Rex. What if they just go Ruination? Oh dang. <laughs> like, what if I just did that and then they just go Ruination? The Witcher's Claw triumphs! Th 
what a power move that would have been by them. Just to be like, okay. Ruination. Alright, so yeah. Deck, deck's definitely good. Uh, Unyielding Spirit, Heimerdinger. This can be some tough cards, especially against the Heimerdinger deck. Our hand was awful. Um, I, I think my least favorite part about the deck is the three Fury of the North, as we talked about. I, I don't think... I think this can be just like a one of. You know, I, I don't like how much we were missing with the Yordle Grifter, and it's like... It's like a cool trick to have, but I just don't think you need... I just don't think you need it that much. I think instead... Uh, we didn't have... Instead, I'd rather have uh, something else to do early-ish. I would honestly play to... Jaw Hunters. Jaw Hunter is super underrated. And we all have... Like, Misfortunes are only 3-drop. Just get it, get some more 3-drops in here. They can create the sea monsters to give us even more stuff. But I, I'd want two other Bilgewater cards at, you know, at the minimum. Of course. Could go, like, deck hand, I guess. Yes. Maybe it's even just Averroes and Sentry. Averroes and Sentry is awesome. Maybe it's just that. You know, I mean, I guess if we're taking out Freljord cards, maybe put in Freljord cards again, but... Uh, yeah, Averroes and Sentry is awesome. Honestly, I think that's, I think that's better. I think that, that the Fury of the North is a fine one-of trick, um, but just having the consistent early drops to play... Um, every game and uh, as you know as much as you can I think that that's probably more important and we saw how good like with the endure spiders you know a huge huge part of that is omen hawk uh, Avaros and sentry those cards are awesome I think I would I think I would do that I would go with the sentries Okay, so that's uh, Tempo Sejuani. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you're playing this deck yourself, feel free to let me know what you think of, uh, you know, maybe trimming on Fury of the North, not playing as much of this card. You know, if you really like, you know, if you like it, maybe maybe play two, maybe play one century, um, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, let, let me know over there in the comments. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button as well. But thank you so much for watching some Tempo Sejuani, and I'll see you for the next video.